Hello you epic gamers, welcome to another Melver Idol Guide video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at what I believe is my favorite skill in the game without a doubt. I don't know why, I just enjoy training it so much. I still train it even after 99, which I guess is more common in Melver Idol than in RuneScape. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into thieving. First off, why is thieving good? In my notes I have many GPs and many resources. So you can get many a resources, many a GPs, but also many, and I mean lots, of unique items that you can only get from thieving that are amazing for your Melver account. So I won't be going over all of these unique items because there's too many of them. I'll be leaving a link in the description to the wiki if you want to do some research on more of these unique items. Uh, but I will be going over all the unique items that are beneficial for your thieving experience. Let's get right into it. So the first thing I usually like to go over in these videos are the mastery pool checkpoints. Uh, mastery is awesome. So this, these are the checkpoints you can get. At 10% you get plus 30 thieving stealth, plus 3% increased thieving XP. At 25% we get decreases thieving interval by... 0.2 seconds and plus 3% increased thieving mastery XP yet again. 50% we have pretty much double gold, 100% increased gold from thieving. And then 95% we get awesome stuff of course. 100 thieving stealth, chance to gain unique area items from thieving is tripled which is absolutely amazing. Now we're going to go ahead and look at the individual mastery unlocks for each creature or NPC you'll be thieving. So. At each level you get one thieving stealth and one percent gp uh acquired from this npc only so you can pretty much get from one to 99 percent more gold every uh well from one to 99 uh mastery for that npc and then the rest are pretty basic although they're very good 50 you get 0.2 seconds minus 0.2 seconds thieving interval for this npc only and then 99 plus 75 thieving stealth for this npc only uh which is absolutely awesome if you don't know thieving stealth is pretty much increasing your odds of being able to uh, pickpocket the npc without taking damage uh or actually just successfully pickpocketing the npc in general uh so very good stuff there's a formula for that but we won't be getting into that in this video because you can simply read your success rate uh very easily all right, before we go into the unique drops that you're going to want to be looking for for your thieving journey, I'm going to talk about agility real quick. So I recommend getting at least 40 agility. Uh, this won't be useful until you have 50 thieving, so if you do want to go ahead and start training your thieving, go ahead. Uh, I do recommend trying to also get 40 thieving so you can at least get rooftop run. So as you can see, we get the debuff of minus 10% damage to all monsters. So I'd recommend, obviously, if you have rooftop run active, don't fight monsters I guess uh, for a while I mean especially if you train plan to train thieving uh, anyways uh, also it's gonna give you plus 20% GP from thieving minus 0.2 seconds thieving interval plus 3% thieving skill XP and then what I think is really the best uh, while you're training is the plus 35 stealth while thieving I mean these are all absolutely phenomenal and uh, I would definitely recommend after you hit level 50 thieving to get rooftop run. Now we also have another uh, agility obstacle you might want to spec into. I don't know the agility level requirement, but I know it's lower than rooftop run being a level 4 obstacle. I think you need level 30 agility. Anyways, uh, you're going to want to grab this for the plus 20% GP from thieving. The downside is you get minus 4% skill XP. So you can make your decision on whether you want this or not based on, you know, if you want more XP or more GP or if this is something you want to go for anyways. Uh, also a nice thing is it also gives you plus 10% food healing value and a 3% chance to reserve skit resources and skills, which I don't think affects thieving unless you eat your food and you preserve it for some odd reason. I don't know if you can do that or not. Anyways, it's up to you if you want the coal stones, but I don't see any real downside to rooftop run. Uh, so if you at least grab that, that's going to be amazing. I'm actually sad I haven't gotten coal stones and didn't use it. So uh, I'm level 106 and I'm like, man, I, I've, I kind of do want to go for that now that I don't really need that much XP. But uh, yeah, anyways. So we still have a lot to go over outside of the thieving skill that will give you thieving bonuses. But right now we're going to focus inside the skill. 
and what kind of items you want to be looking for first. So some of the first things you want to be looking for is the fine coin purse and the jeweled necklace. These are going to be able to be gotten from the woman in thieving which I would recommend. I think you can also get the jeweled necklace from the man and even the fine coin purse. I'm not sure. I'll put it up on screen if you can. Um, yeah, so the fine coin purse is plus 10% global GP except from sales. And then the jeweled necklace is plus 5% global GP except from sales. So that's going to give you a 15% bonus and GP th from thieving which is awesome. And these are pretty much best in slot so you're going to want to use these all the way to 99 the golden mask so once you get past once you get your coin purse and your jeweled necklace i recommend topping over to the golden chief um when you feel ready uh and and stay there until you get the golden mask because you are also probably going to want to use this from all the way up to 99 because it gives you the plus 20 stealth while thieving and the plus 20 gp from thieving and then the plus two percent thieving mastery xp i still use this mask a lot uh i just like it because as much percentage boosts go on the plus 20 gp turns into a lot more than just 20 gp so i would stick around at the golden chief until you receive this thievers cape so once you get the golden mask i recommend moving on to the marauder or the bandit thug and stay there until you get a thiever's cape plus 25 stealth while thieving plus 10 percent gp gained from thieving and plus two percent thieving skill xp uh so the thiever's cape isn't actually as rare as the golden mask you'll probably get it much much faster so if you do get the level to go ahead and jump to the bandit thug or marauder before you get the golden mask uh i would definitely do that to at least grab the thiever's cape being a one in 500 drop which is uh, I believe better odds than the Golden Mask. Uh, I, uh, those are a unique item from the Golden Chief, which makes the drop rate a lot rarer, at least at a lower mastery level. So that is the next thing I would go for. Thieving Gloves, plus 75 stealth when worn until depleted. So you can buy these bad boys for 100,000 gold from the shop. So it's really up to you if you want to spend the 100,000 gold using these. When you purchase them, you get 500 charges, uh, and they will deplete after, you know, 500 uses. Uh, it's also worth noting that if you get the Merchant's Permit, which is the unique drop from the Merchant, uh, it decreases the price of all gloves in the shop by 10%. So it goes from 100% or 100,000 to 90,000. So you might want to pick that up whenever you can as well. And then we have the Gloves of Silence, which I would recommend over the Thieving Gloves unless you really need that plus 25 stealth over the Thieving, uh, yeah, as, you know, for the Thieving Gloves. The Gloves of Silence give you plus 150 GP for monsters as well as Thieving, plus 50 stealth while Thieving and a minus 1 0.1 second thieving interval so these gloves are absolutely awesome but unfortunately you don't actually get them from thieving like most of these other items you're gonna have to kill the thief to get these so the gloves of silence are one out of 291 drop rate from the thief which is a normal tier slayer monster even though he's more human uh, he also uses ranged so i guess wearing melee armor wouldn't be too bad so he's actually not that hard if you just want to AFK him for a while. But if you haven't gotten into combat too much, don't worry about it. Even though these gloves are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I would highly, highly recommend them. So there's going to be a couple thieving items you want to keep a lookout for. That you'll get just while thieving naturally. <laughs> naturally. Um, starting with the Sneak Urs. Um, which will give you 40 stealth while thieving and plus 5% global GP, except from sales. Uh, and the drop rate is 1 in 15,000 just from thieving in general. You can actually check the drops from whatever you're thieving to see if they will drop it, but as far as I know, almost everything drops the sneakers. Maybe not quite everything, but I might be wrong, but most things do, so you, you can just try to check the drops on that one. The Chapio Nor, I'm, I'm butchering the name, I have no idea, I tried. Uh, it's going to give you plus 10% chance to double loot in thieving and combat. So if you're going dry for the golden mask, I would recommend just putting this one on. 
Uh, it, I don't think it's that good for thieving, I guess, unless you're just wanting a lot of items. Maybe maybe I'm wrong, but I prefer the Golbin Mask. Um, there might be some situations where you want to use this more. I, I've put it on sometimes post-99 to get more resources, so it's really up to you. But like I said, if you're not 99, I would definitely recommend using the Golbin Mask over this one. But you do have a 1 in 20,000 chance from thieving to get this bad boy. And like I said, I think most of the thieving NPCs will drop this for you. Before we move on, I have a tip. Once you reach level 88 thieving, you will unlock the knight. I recommend not thieving anything past the knight or the knight itself until you reach 99 thieving for their odds to hit you will be far too high. And once you get the awesome thieving skill cape, uh, your odds to be hit are much, much lower. So I would recommend uh, just holding off and farming whatever NPC you like, honestly, uh, until 99 on and off, just switch. That's what I would recommend. Uh, it's far too much damage before 99. So you might be wondering what the thieving pet is, and fittingly so, it's Snake. So Snake is going to give you plus 50% GP from thieving, which is absolutely awesome. I got him at like level 95 or something, so... Be on the lookout for Snake, everybody. Now that we've gone over most of the basics of the items you're going to want to be looking for in the thieving skill itself, what is the fastest GP an hour you might be wondering? Well, it's definitely the princess, and I've heard anywhere from 16 to 25 mil an hour. I don't know. I'm guessing at least 16 mil an hour. Um, I'm not sure why, to be honest, at this point in time, but I do plan on making a in-depth guide on how to get that kind of GP an hour in the future. I do believe it requires level 95 plus fletching and some other summon synergies to set up. So once I figure that out, I will go ahead and make a guide video for that. But if you're just curious on which NPC will give you the most GP per hour at the end game with all of your bonuses set up and everything aligned, it will be the princess. So if you want to do some research on that, you can at this time, I am not sure why, but like I said, I plan to make a video guide on that soon. So speaking of summon synergies, we're going to go ahead and go over some of the notable summoning synergies. So to start with, the summon itself is going to be the Leprechaun, costing 8 green charms, 6 gray charms, and 1000 gold. So what the Leprechaun is going to do is going to give you plus 50 GP from thieving and I believe that may be additive to your multipliers as well. I'm not quite sure. I'll uh, put something on the screen to double check that. Anyway, so that's kind of underwhelming in a way. So let's take a look at some of the synergies that makes this ball out of control. So we're going to go in order of my favorite. The first one's Leprechaun Monkey. Upon thieving a common drop from thieving, automatically sell it for 1500% of its base sale price. So I've actually not used any of these synergies yet, being a level 106 thieving, and now that I know about them, I'm like, wow, I need to at least try some of these and see how they are, because that's that sounds really fun, to be honest. It requires level 55 summoning, Leprechaun level mark 4, and Monkey level 3. Another interesting one is Mole plus Leprechaun when successfully pickpocketing the miner and thieving, plus 20% chance to get a random gem, which might be good for collecting diamonds and gems for potions and or bolts. Then we have the Leprechaun and Devil, which if you don't know, Devil is a level 90 summoning, uh, a level 90 summon, yes, okay, that sounds more correct. While thieving any NPC, 50% chance to grant plus 100% GP, 35% chance to grant times 4 items, or 15% chance to receive no items or GP at all. Uh, so overall, it seems like that's super good. Uh, I think, you know, the plus 15% chance to receive nothing kind of is obviously a downside, but the upsides are so good, and that's like a 75% or an 85% chance to really receive something good or receive something nothing at all. Uh, so really awesome synergy right there. So those were just some of my favorite summons. Uh, those weren't all of the summon synergies, uh, but like I said, I'll be leaving a link in the description to the wiki where you can find all of the synergies yourself for you know any projects or ideas you might have with your Melver account. Next, we're gonna be touching on potion brewing, AKA 
Herblor. So, we're going to be looking at the Gentle Hands Potion. This one in particular is a level 4, but you can expect lower stealth while thieving with other potions. But a level 4 is going to be plus 75, which is actually really good and really awesome. You can make these potions with one lemon tile herb and two strawberry seeds which is awesome because you can get a lot of these herbs and seeds from the farmer and the farmer's daughter which i believe is actually the merchant sorry but i don't know i call it the farmer's daughter anyways uh so really awesome potion i don't use these a ton but i plan that once i do start my mastery into the princess and king i will expect to be using a lot of these next up we have astrology everyone's favorite skill okay i'm joking jokes aside i may not like astrology a lot at its current state but nonetheless you can get a lot of awesome bonuses from astrology giving you a boost from anywhere from 1 to plus 15 percent minimum gp from thieving the astrology level required for co is level 70 so it's kind of in the mid middle of you know high and low level um, so it's nothing too bad. There's also a lot more multipliers you can get from agility and thieving in the Co constellation. I'll let you read over that since there are so many. All right, so we are wrapping up the video. I wanted to go over some side notes. First off, let's take a look at the thieving skill cape. It's pretty awesome, as you could expect. It gives you a minus 0.5 second thieving interval, plus 100% more GP from thieving, and plus 150 stealth while thieving. So obviously this is going to be your best in slot item once you reach 99. As another side note, we have the Thieves Money Sack, which gives you plus 20% minimum GP from thieving, but one item is consumed per thieving action. This requires 49 crafting and one basic bag. Basic bags sell for 4,000 gold each. So I didn't bother to make these money sacks because I didn't think I would get you know more than 4,000 from thieving with a plus 20% minimum GP although you, you well actually considering it's a plus 20% minimum it might very much be worth it especially considering you get 135 crafting X, XP per craft so maybe if this is something you want to do uh, you could definitely do it but it's not something I did or have yet to do as another side note we have the signet ring this is something you definitely want to have equipped if you are able to have it it's an end game item really it's very hard to acquire um so i'm not going to go over how to get it in this video but if you do have it you will get plus 100 percent gp granted from all sources so this obviously includes thieving and then a plus 10 percent chance to gain double resources from any skill which also um includes thieving i believe so it's very good if you have it obviously you want to wear that and last but not least, my tip for you is that if you're worried about dying because you don't have enough food or running out of food because you over, you know, you want to train thieving overnight or something, well, if you use your item protection prayer, you can use it for free without using any prayer points. And then when you die, you will, you know, lose nothing. So if you're on a regular account, this is awesome. Make sure to use that trick if you are afraid of dying. I believe uh, you might use literally one prayer point if you do die. So. Just keep that in mind. I thought that was an awesome tip. All right, guys. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. This appears like it's going to be my longest guide video I've ever made. So I hope you did enjoy, and I'm going to enjoy editing this. As a side note, we are on our way to 250 subscribers for the year of 2022, and we are fast approaching. So I want to say thank you all so much for subscribing, and I hope you do enjoy more guides and content to come in the future. So thank you guys so much. See you guys in the next one.